today's video is about surgical instruments mainly cataract surgery instruments i am dr shajil and today i would like to tell you about the surgical instruments you can see these are lying here so the first instrument is the large needle holder as you can see you should take it as a pen it is used for the large wounds like lid lacerations lid margin defects uh, scleral defects uh, conjunctival defects also it is used in the dcr surgery it has got blunt tips now the small needle holder this is small needle holder that is specifically used for the corneal stitches in the extra capsular cataract uh, surgery as well as it is used for corneal tear repairs uh, nylon 10-0 you can see that and the you should also be able to differentiate it from the scissor some people confuse it with scissor you look at the ends they are blunt whereas now i am showing you the scissor scissor has got sharp edges whereas it has got blunt edges so you should be able to differentiate between a corneal scissor as well as needle holder now this is the corneal scissor with which we cut the cornea in the extra capsular cataract surgery now this is the large conjunctival scissor which is also known as west cord scissor and uh, it is used in the squint surgery conjunctival procedures now look at this this is the smaller the smallest scissor it is used intraocularly for the iris manipulation vitreous cutting uh, intraocular we use vena scissor so you should be able to know now look at this if you can see it has got it is a curved forcep it is also known as macpherson with which we insert rigid lens during the extra capsular cataract surgery it is also a lens holding forcep it is used in stitching now look at this one it's a plain scissor a plain forcep suture tire also plain forcep as well as corneal forceps they have got one difference that uh, in the corneal at the end you will be able to see the tooth like this one is corneal forceps you will see the tooth so the tooth differentiate between the suture tire and the corneal forcep so you should be able to know now here we have got squint hook with squint hook we manipulate muscles we identify muscles and we catch the muscles from the sclera we separate them from the sclera so it is called squint hook it is also used in the extra capsular cataract surgery you should be able to know that so now we have got this uh, let me give the mobile so now you can see the instruments clearly now it's a dialer there is the same other instrument which is which is called chopper with chopper we fragment nucleus whereas with dialer we dial the lens inside the bag the dialer has got pointed end whereas the chopper has got a rounded end so i hope you will be able to differentiate between the dialer and the chopper it is dialer now that is wire vectors wire vectors is also used in extra capsular cataract surgery along with the squint hood in the nucleus delivery now it is tooth forcep lid tooth forcep when we do lid surgeries we use this instrument to hold the lids 
now that's the knife blade and these are the two knives which are used in ophthalmology that is the 15 number with the rounded edge and that sharp cut that is 11 number so these both are used in DCR in lid procedures now that is the eyelid speculum with it we open the eye during